Hello, this is Father Randy Sly with another installment of Day by Day, where each day we take a look at a reading from Holy Scripture found in the Daily Mass. And today is the 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a scholar of the law who stood up to test Jesus and said, Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life. Jesus said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? He said in reply, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your being, with all your strength and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. He replied to him, You have answered correctly. Do this, and you will live. But because he wished to justify himself, he said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, A man fell victim to robbers as he went down from Jerusalem to Jericho. They stripped and beat him and went off, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down that road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. Likewise, a Levite came to the place, and when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. But a Samaritan traveler who came upon him was moved with compassion at the sight. He approached the victim, poured oil and wine over his wounds, and and bandaged him. Then he lifted him up on his own animal, took him to an inn, and cared for him. The next day he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper with the instruction, Take care of him. If you spend more than what I have given you, I shall repay you on my way back. Which of these three, in your opinion, was neighbor to the robber's victim? He answered him, the one who treated him with mercy. Jesus said to him, go and do likewise. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, we have the parable of the Good Samaritan in our reading today, a parable that is very common, very popular, one of the most popular probably in the scriptures, along with perhaps the parable of the prodigal son. But here in the the parable of the Good Samaritan, Jesus is beginning to expound for the scholar of the law who is asking him what he has to do to inherit eternal life. And, of course, this scholar of the law goes first to the Hebrew Shema, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And he also goes to the Levitical passage, love your neighbor as yourself, the same passages that Jesus himself had used to explain what are the greatest things, the greatest commandments to follow. And so Jesus said, you have answered correctly. Do this and you will live. And that should be enough for the scholar. But what the scholar then did is challenge Jesus at the point of, well, who is my neighbor? He's wanting to let Jesus know that he probably has already fulfilled what he needs to do. That he has literally fulfilled that teaching of the law. Well, Jesus turns to him with a parable. And here is a man who is going from Jerusalem to Jericho, a very short distance between those two cities, just several miles. And uh, it's down in the southern part of Judea. It's not up around Samaria. It's down in the lower part where uh, Jerusalem is located. And this person who is traveling to Jericho is getting robbed on the way. And he's beaten, robbed, left for dead. Well, here comes a priest walking down the road. And he sees this uh, wounded man there and literally goes to the other side of the road, the opposite side, and continues his journey, avoiding the, that man <clears throat> who was in trouble. A Levite does the same thing, again, passing by on the other side. One of the things we don't know is, was the priest going to Jerusalem from Jericho? If so, he would be going to his duties at the temple. <clears throat> and at that point, there's a possibility that he may not be able to be detained, but we don't know that. The same with the Levite. We don't know if they're coming or going. Either way, the proper thing 
of course, would have been to stop and to assist that one person who is in desperate need. If it's a teaching of the law, those who serve God and the law ought to be ones that would be eager to fulfill it, <clears throat> both of them passing by on the opposite side. Here comes a Samaritan traveler. <clears throat> he is down in foreign territory. He is away from home, and he is definitely not in uh, friendly territory in Jerusalem and Jericho. These would not be necessarily friendly places to a Samaritan. But when he comes upon him, now, normally, <clears throat> if a Samaritan would come upon a Jewish traveler, he would automatically go to the other side to continue his journey and avoid any contact with that uh, Jewish person because the Jews considered him unclean, so they would expect him to move to the other side of the road. Ironically, he's the one who doesn't move. Instead, he meets that wounded man where he is, begins to care for him, takes him to an inn, and there not only cares for him overnight, but then provides enough money to the innkeeper that <clears throat> this wounded person might be brought back to full health. Obviously, the parable is really important for us. And it's good to look at it in a couple of different ways. We can look at it with us being the wounded person. Are we the one that's wounded? And while perhaps some would walk by and avoid having contact with us if we are wounded and hurt, but then there is the one who comes and helps us. That, of course, the Samaritan represents Jesus, represents his being willing to go the extra mile, to do what is necessary to care for us who are wounded. The other way we can look at it is, which one of the three are we? Are we the priest and the Levite? Or are we like the Good Samaritan, willing to stop, willing to be inconvenienced, willing to actually pour out our own resources in order to care for someone, someone that we perhaps don't even know? So th this parable can be used in many different ways for us to determine how we desire to live our lives, both in terms of our relationship with God, confident that in our woundedness, in our need, in times in our lives where we are crying out for help, that he will not be reluctant to stop and care for us, as wounded and as beaten as we might be. And again, Jesus is calling upon us, as well as this young scholar of the law, to go and do like the Good Samaritan, recognizing that whoever is in need is our neighbor. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Well, as we continue our journey in ordinary time, we have in our Sunday readings, <clears throat> been staying with Luke since this is cycle C. But uh, again, during the week, most of the time spending our days with the Gospel of Matthew. So may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.